we have Medusa in both games, which we talked a lot about yesterday. I'm still not sure what to think about it, because I never played against it. And when you play against Aeora, you can truly feel it. Like, oh, I'm down to try to play against Medusa. Because today we also talked, and we were ready to play against it. They could pick it in both games if they want. We got unfortunate, didn't get to practice it. Medusa looks really kinda, kinda broken hero, but if you don't have a uh, good idea how to counter, of course you should ban it. <laughs> so yeah, Medusa is... Uh, looks really strong right now. And a tier 4 dead. Base is exposed. Hard to hit. He committed. He goes in deep. Man to use BKB immediately by the Medusa. They've got the control on him, but the spell shield doing a lot, but not enough. Second Two, life. three, seven lives left on the side of Shopify, and the throne completely exposed. Abed back in with his second life, trying to get it immediately controlled up. That's not a point. They got good enough. Artesian with his second life, trying to go in, but just not enough. He's being controlled up. Dies a second time. They cannot finish this up. I don't know. I'm just seeing Medusa. Off lane, post 4, post 5, carry mid. It's getting first phase bound in the tournament. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Gaben. Thank you, Ice Rock. Oh, yeah, Medusa seems pretty crazy. Uh, unfortunately, we lost with it twice. So, you know, maybe for us, not working out so good, but for other teams, it's looking really good. Yeah, I feel like uh, they probably overtuned her a little bit, but, you know, some teams are still able to beat it. So, you know, there's always an answer in Dota, always. Yeah, it's very bro broken here, but some somehow. We have a 100% win rate, rate against him because we just know how to counter it. We kill other heroes in fights and then just focus on Medusa. As well, we have uh, Nyx in our pick. Void, it's really good heroes against Medusa and late, so it was easy.